what up to what are we doing today we got to put our side skirts on because we did the front lip and we got to match those side skirts so let's take a look at the joe toth composite side skirt comes really nicely packed looks like we're gonna have to reuse a little bit of the factory hardware this here 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 and then they send you the screws and washers for down the undercarriage here's the other one still wrapped up we're gonna do one at a time we gotta have to jack up the porsche and take the wheels off because we need to get to those guys right there and the tires in the way so let's get to it all right so we got to take that torque screw out and that one and there's one right under here and they're all t25 torques also got a wheel off i need new broders i got a little bit of a lip right here so that's something to do this coming year i got some pad life left but they're getting low uh i do have the jack under there but it's not holding it up it's being held here on the suspension arms I uh, don't want to put it in a normal jack point here because we're working in this area just by eyeballing it These side skirts do allow you to reuse your factory jack points right there So we're going to take this off. This needs to come off And then we're going to clean a little bit more in this area since it's all needs to be clean. We want it clean, right? So let's get to it a total of five bolts holding it on three on the bottom two right there not too bad all right we know what we did here let's just quick review it's on quick review it's on bolted on sturdy as heck so we reused these two spots but as you can see i put some stainless m6 hardware on there and what I ended up doing is doing a uh, threaded rib nut in there, a rib insert, rivet, sorry, threaded rivet in there uh, on the side skirt so we can put this on back to factory. Now this was what held the plastic piece to this shield and it didn't go on the side skirt. Now there was no instructions with this, so you had to be a little creative, but not too bad. And then on the bottom side under here, we ended up reusing the stock one here, reusing the stock one here and right above here. And then as you can see, we ended up putting the bigger ones of these. So there's four of these per side and then you reuse the stock hardware this way. So this we installed by pre-drilling with a 916 drill bit each hole so we made sure this was lined up properly okay and then we went back down here and drilled the 916th hole and then went at it with a actually no we just went the 916th hole what am i talking about so we just did the 916th hole and then we used a 10 millimeter uh to install this we used our uh electric ratchet but you can do it by hand with a washer uh, that's provided and then just hand snug tight don't overdo it and it was fine and it is fine solid i wouldn't step on it or stand on it and you don't want me standing on it trust me but anyways we got to finish the other side and yes i had to jack up the front and yes i had to jack up the front i put it on a cinder block and actually when i laying around uh just so i can comfortably go under there but with a piece of two by four under the jack you can still jack the car up no problem and uh, we're going to put this side down go to the other side finish up and then i'll give you a walk around well the sun went down but we're done let's take a look at it there's the front lip again so we got 
it all mounted securely both sides. This side went a little faster because we'd already realized how to do it. And that's my neighbor being a jerk because we were just talking. So he had to honk his big old diesel horn. But awesome, awesome product. It, all the lines align very nicely. They do a great job. Thumbs up to Joe Toth Composites. I think the car looks great. Everything matches up perfectly now. Joe Toth Composites specializes in this, but mostly for race applications. So we don't race, but whatever. It looks cool. At least we think so. We like it. Anyways, hope you enjoyed that short install video of the sides. Hope you enjoyed the previous video of the front lip. So we got a few things coming new for this car. Well, this is obviously part of that here for 2023. But as you can see, and I showed you already earlier, that's off. We added a new badge. And we're going to do a livery, a livery on this vehicle, on our Porsche, later on in the year. Not too later on. Uh, and that's going to be about it. We might have some other small things coming. We got another new vehicle. Wifey got a new daily driver. And uh, it's nothing exciting, but it's a cool car. We love it. And we'll introduce you to that one soon. But we're going to get some stuff on that probably this year too. And I know everything gets put on hold. And we want to get this girl going. The 53. We're actually going to make progress on it this year. It won't be assemble progress, but it'll be a lot of disassembly progress. And we'll show you how we're doing it. Have a great week, and we hope you had a great, great New Year's. God bless.